sausage tray bake is one of these one pan or one tray dishes that you put everything in and you can mix and match i'm going to give you lots of inspiration for this recipe the key is really nice sausages some lovely potatoes and you know some vegetables and then a little dressing it's as easy as that so we'll talk about the sausages i'm using so these are the spring onion and uh, black pepper pork sausages i really like these and you've seen me using these in quite a few of my uh, recipes the instant meatballs the bangers and mash they're just a lovely they're made in county monaghan there's no msg they're made with good quality irish pork and they're really really nice uh, dinner sausages so they are so i'm going to use um one of my dishes here we're going to just literally show you we're going to slice the potatoes so using my big knife i'm just going to use the little baby potatoes you can use regular potatoes don't slice them too thin if the potatoes were big, kind of slice them in three, like that. Now we're going to put this on to the, to the um, oven proof dish or a tray, or whatever you have. Uh, just once you have them nicely coated in the dressing, I'm going to show you in a moment. So that's our potatoes. I'll just sprinkle them, just lift them up, just give them a wash. I should have said that. Just make sure that they're washed, the potatoes, but keeping the skin on because the skin is where all the goodness and the flavor is. Okay, some red onion. This is some... Uh, regular just red onion I'm using here and we're just going to cut these into little wedges I love red onion and when they're caramelized and kind of roasted in the oven they're just delicious to the air so don't don't be too tempted to cut them too thin because they will catch and they'll burn because it's going to take about 25 30 minutes to cook out you know that's very important okay some garlic two cloves of garlic which we've just peeled and I'm going to use just my garlic kind of crusher here so just literally put pressure on it and then just literally scrape that in just all over there and just scrape that it's easy to wash i mean this has been a little hero piece a uh, part of the cookware collection people just really really like it uh, it's very easy to use very easy to wash which is really important and it's um it's uh, people i know are enjoying using it so thank you very much so that's our garlic there now we're going to make a little dressing we're going to put the peppers and what i've done is just with the sausages i've just literally cut them in half you can do them whole, take a little bit longer to cook, but I've cut them in half, so I have. So we'll make our dressing. I'm gonna use a little bit of thyme first. I, I, I do love fresh thyme. And I am using this dressing too, which I'll show you in a moment. So if you don't have fresh thyme, don't worry about it. There's absolutely no problem. This, I think, is very important to use this um, kind of like herb seasoning, which I'm gonna show you now. So just literally picking off these tiny little kind of sprigs here. I love fresh thyme. And it always works really well if you're doing roast potatoes, even roast chicken, even in a stuffing roast. It's one of my favorite herbs and it's very easy to grow, so it is. So a little bit of fresh thyme, should be enough there. And then we're gonna put in some maple syrup. Yes, maple syrup for sweetness. So I'm gonna roughly get a big spoon of that. So I'll put in two of the maple syrup and then two of the balsamic and this is the simply better balsamic from medina so i got to meet this producer and balsamic is just made from grape juice that's all it is so that's a three-year-old uh, balsamic now this is the seasoning you see me using these spice in lots of my videos they're from oco they're based in atlone and this is the spicy pepper uh, season and herb season i'll just show it to you just have a little look in there now there's a nice little bit of a kick to it, okay? So we'll put in a teaspoonful. This is a little espresso spoon. And again, so two of those, that's one small teaspoonful or two of the tiny wee spoons there. Mix this all together. And that's our dressing. Okay, now we're gonna put in some peppers. So we're gonna use the oil because these are beautiful peppers. They're cooked over open grills, so they are. They're um, produced in Italy, grown in Italy, and they're absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna put in my sausages now. So I'm gonna arrange this, and then we're gonna put the peppers. I'm gonna use the oil, some of the oil, not all of the oil, from the peppers, because that's extra virgin olive oil. So there's lots of flavor there. So you can see I'm just arranging. I just literally um, cut the sausages in half. So that's all I've done there. And then for a little bit of oil here, just makes it easier getting the pepper out. So this is the yellow pepper here. I'll just take that out, slide it out. And then we have the red pepper. These are great. Now when you open them, what I always like to do is to keep them in the fridge. But look at that beautiful oil there. Use that, don't waste it, it's beautiful. In a dressing, if you're roasting chicken, anything like that, it's so, so delicious. So I'm gonna literally cut this into nice big chunks. So I'm keeping all that beautiful kind of charred kind of kind of flavor on the skin and I'm going to literally sprinkle it over our potatoes, 
our onion, uh, the sausages. So for me, this is a lovely little recipe. It could be done with chicken breast too, actually. But I think the sausages, you know, you get nice sausages, just something very comforting and quick and delicious. And you're not dirtying a lot of pots and pans. Everything kind of goes into the dish or into the tray. So now for our dressing, I'll just wipe this. If it wasn't on camera, I could be licking that. It's too good of oil. Uh, a little bit of the some sea salt. And then we just literally drizzle over our lovely dressing. So just all over, make sure it's coated. So you have your vinegar. If you don't use vinegar, it's gonna be far too sweet. You could use honey if you don't have maple syrup. But it's like a one kind of tray, one pan uh, dish, which is what we like. Especially when people are busy working and they want something that's quick, full of flavor, keeping all the goodness and all the flavors in there. Uh, you could put chili into that if you wanted to. You could put some of the Cajun spice into it. I already have one done. So at this stage, what I would do is put this into the oven at uh, 200, so it's quite a hot oven, and it takes about 25 to 30 minutes. After about maybe 15, 20 minutes, just give it a little stir, uh, shake, to make sure that the sausages are nice and kind of getting nice and brown, and that the potatoes, that everything's been nicely coated. So I'll just do a little switch here. I'm gonna pop this one in. So that's what it looks like, it's really, really colorful. So you have your sausages, your potatoes, you have your roasted peppers and the red onion, which is perfect. And then we have one in here. Oh my God, the smell. Yum, yum, yum. So what you do, I'm not gonna present it, I'm just gonna show it to you. I'm gonna just put my little trivet. This is a great little piece, part of the cookware too, that when anything comes hot out of the oven, if I put it straight onto the wood, it's not good. But we're gonna get a little bit of basil because I have it here, it's not essential. And we're just gonna literally sprinkle this over. You could use parsley if you wanted to. Sure, chefs, we love fresh herbs, don't we? So uh, we're using the fresh thyme. You can see that there, the sausages. I love the way the potatoes have got a nice bit of color. And just with the small knife, if you just check the potatoes, so they're cooked, if they're anyway hard, they're all done. So they are. So that took about 30 minutes and then just a little sprinkling of fresh basil over it and then away you go you don't need anything else with this this is your dinner in one dish so you have really really good uh, quality irish sausages they're the simply better ones that i was using and that's the spring onion and black pepper i really like these they're a really really lovely product uh, made in county Monaghan, just up the road lots of lovely potatoes red onion and the roasted peppers and that lovely dressing this dressing here and the spices that's a really lovely product over chicken breast over vegetables it is excellent so start to finish you have this in the oven it takes about 30 minutes to cook off about 10 minutes preparation or thereabouts but enjoy this very very simple and delicious recipe thank you